That could work. Um, predictions for tomorrow's announcements. No. Thank you for the two dollars. No. What are tomorrow's announcements going to be? What do you mean predictions for tomorrow's announcements? Are there are there announcements tomorrow that we know of? Dude, I'd love to just go to an event, like a UFC event, and actually just be there and enjoy it as a person. You know? But I feel like I wouldn't be able to. Thank you for the two dollars. Not live events are overrated. No, I'm not saying because I'm too popular to go. I'm saying as in my brain wouldn't just let me enjoy it. I'd probably just be looking around at everything and then just overthink everything and think, oh, I'm not even live right now. I should be live right now. And then and all this would go on, you know. Um, Dana said he's announcing more fights. <gasps> okay. I'll be ready for it then. Full steam ahead, I guess. Right, chat? Probably going to be late night tomorrow. Right? Probably going to be late night. Remember you said you didn't need that shit to be happy? True. Thank you for the $2. That's very true. But I need UFC to be happy, though. I've realized that. I don't have anything else. So I need the UFC at least. You know? And now I didn't stream this weekend. You know what I mean? But there's no UFC. So I'm just not in the mood. I have nothing in my life without UFC. I literally have nothing. Nothing else brings me joy at all. I've tried. I've been trying over this four weeks off. Nothing brings me joy in my life other than the UFC. And when there's no UFC, I just don't have anything. We live and die with the UFC. True. Thank you for the $2. Very, very true. And without UFC, I'm genuinely lost as a person. It's the only thing that keeps, uh, it's like the cement of my life is the UFC. You know, I judge things in time as to how many UFC events away they are. You know, like I don't think in weeks anymore. I don't think in days. I think five cards away. That's just after UFC 299. That's the weekend before 299. I don't even think in dates anymore. I think about UFC and how the, the date of life uh, relates to the UFC. That's going to be a good week. It's UFC 298 that weekend. God, that week between there and April is going to be shit. They got Delidzi and Amavov as a main event. You know? It's kind of sad, but it's just the way my life is. This four weeks off, I've been struggling pretty bad, but we'll be back on it. We live and die with the UFC, we do. All right, cool. Chimeyev healthy. Okay. Now you are NUA, T-Bud. I don't know. Uh, Terrence Crawford, the battle between those two. I mean, Crawford, arguably, but yeah. He beat Errol Spence. You've got to give him some points this year. Do you hate doing YouTube now? A little bit, yeah. But it's just there's no MMA, so I know it's just going to be stupid bullshit in chat. Um, but when there's MMA on and there's shit going on, it's good. So today I'm good. I don't know how you're doing YouTube. I just, I don't know. I don't know. There's no UFC. I don't know what to do. Uh, you should put Ariel Geordie's face on pads and you'll be a pro in no time. Okay. True, true. There's two girls, one cup undefeated. As I said before, I've never seen two girls, one cup. Never seen it once. Glad to say that as well. Because why would you look at it if you know what it's about? You know? Ever T, Penguins EO has been in this for more than a decade. True. I've been around for a while now, though. It's going to be six years soon, chat. It's going to be... I think we're coming up to five and a half years doing this. So, I think that is actually a... Uh, I do remember when he mentioned me in his stream, Yeah. I actually feel like that is a disadvantage for me on YouTube because I feel like I've burnt out the honeymoon stage of YouTube. And look where you're at. I know it. We made it. But I feel like I never had a fun honeymoon stage. You see all these upcoming channels like MMA Che and Lucas Tracy and all these other YouTube MMA channels. 
they're in their honeymoon stage of making content and they never had to struggle with views for three years, you know, because the audience is now already there for them. Uh, that's where I kind of wish it was a bit different. Maybe I wish I'd started now because I'd be fucking, yeah, you know I mean, I'd be fucking grinding all kinds of new intricate types of uh, uh, tier lists and all this, you know, you invented a niche. I know I kind of did, but. Yeah. I'm like, the weasel kind of started it, but the weasel wasn't a person, right? He was a voice. I sort of started the face of an MMA fan talking about the sport online type niche. <sighs> Rigo looking healthy. What do you mean, Rigo looking healthy? Oh, I saw him on Tom Aspinall's Instagram story, though. I saw that. If you started now, there would be no look. I know, I know. True, actually. They're hungry lions like Benoit Saint Denis, and you're the fat grandpa like Darius. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> All right, dude, calm down. Jesus Christ, you need to get a new beef to get your excitement back. Yeah, true, true. And I think the new beef chat is Manel Cap versus Makayev. That is the new beef that I'm hyped for. <laughs> fat grandpa like Darius. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poor Dariush, dude. <laughs> he spent his whole life training to be an MMA fighter and he just gets referred to as a fat grandpa. <laughs> Are you still going to make tier list videos? Yeah, sure, dude. I'll get to it. Yeah, but not of the year ones. We'll just do some more niche ones, but they're just worthless and they don't get views. So I don't know why people keep asking me to do them. I think the, the live chat really wants them, but regular people don't watch those videos. <laughs> is Yoel Romero the best UFC fighter to never win a belt? Tony Ferguson is also there as well. UFC allows Nate slash Jorge to remove options for Connor. Maybe. Probably. Also, they're just doing him a favor because Nate isn't even signed to the UFC and Jorge is, but Jorge's retired and they know that. So they're probably just going to let him do his thing. Thank you for the $2. I'm sure Masvidal spoke about that. You know what I mean? What percentage of Spanish do you think O'Malley's wife is? You don't have arms. You promote so much hate in the MMA community. And your stains repeat your cancer throughout the community. Karma will bite you right in the back of the ass. Literally 95% of your content is hating. Yeah, I know. Hating's pretty fucking fun, though. Thank you for the $5. Enter Pete. Do a Connor impression explaining how amazing MMA Guru did on the pads with Cameron Simon. May. Upaku Rui hand. Look at the fucking power on the thing, yeah? The soys are going as well, you know, Louis. O'Malley video is great. You can't teach funny, eh? Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate that, man. Crazy how no one's complaining Benoit Saint-Denis getting number three. 